What's up, guys? It's Sean here with Pendell's Baseball Cards. This right here is episode six. Um, today, I would like to talk about some eBay pointers, uh, selling and buying. Also, I'll be opening up a blaster at Top Stadium Club 2018. Hoping to pull something crazy. It was really the only box at the Walmart that I even saw besides wrestling. So I just scooped it up and thought I'd just end the video off with that just to have something extra. Um, so as far as eBay, if you're new to selling, there's some, um, we'll start with buying. If you're new to buying on eBay, if you're looking at sellers to buy from, you need to make sure that they have a bunch of good feedback, 100% good feedback um, is what a lot of us like to buy from. Just for that reassurance that there's not going to be any problems because the last thing we want, you know, buying something for our PC or to resell is to take longer than expected or not to get it or get something fake because there is a lot of that on ebay you got to watch out for it you got to be cautious um so yeah look for lots of good positive feedback make sure that they're a long time member um they don't necessarily have to be a long time member i'm not a long time member i've been i think for like two years a little bit over two years but just make sure that they sell regularly or at least they have 100% feedback and they have actually sold more than just a couple things. Because they might have just sold them a few things just to get to where they can get over on somebody. And um, make sure when you're buying something, a good tip, if, if a seller has a lot of that one that same item, it might be a fake. Like if you're looking for trout, tops, rookies. Um, and a guy has 20 of them, that's probably a red flag. You probably don't want to buy one from that guy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just wouldn't. Um, also, make sure that they are in the United States because you don't want to buy something and then have to wait a month for it because it's coming from Australia and you didn't even look before you before you bought it or it's coming from China. I'm not buying anything from China. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. It's nothing racist against them. It's just, there's a lot going on there. And there's also a lot of the fakes come from China in that area. So watch out for that and always leave feedback, whether, you know, it's a uh, positive uh, and, uh, if it's not positive, you know, give them some feedback. But don't try to be too harsh. Just uh, give them, you know, positive critiques. Give them critiques on how they can be better and what they did wrong. Let people know what they did wrong so they can learn from you instead of having it happen to them, you know. But uh, for buying, I think that's about it. Um, you know, as far as that goes. But selling, there's a lot that goes into selling. You know, you got to have a bank account. Um, you got to connect your PayPal to that, that you create if you don't already have one and you got to get all that right. And, um, for some reason, me, like when I started selling on eBay, they wouldn't let me get my money until like 21 days after. So watch out for that. You might you know, at least anticipate for that happening, not saying it's going to happen to you, but it happened to me and I had to sell like 20 something things before that came off where I could get my money right when they pay. But then, if you don't sell for a while, even after that's over with and you're getting your money as soon as people buy things, even if that's over and done with, if you don't sell for a little while, eBay or either PayPal will put a hold on it. And it might be 21 days again. So just make sure to sell a lot of items and to at least sell a few items a month so you can make sure to keep getting your money. I know people who's never had to deal with this. And the reason I had to do it wasn't because of negative feedback. It was just program I had to go under for some reason. They wouldn't explain it. Um, but yeah. And once you get all that set up and you start selling, make sure to ship quick. You know, if somebody buys something today, try to ship next day. 
That's my motto. If somebody buys something to me, I try my best to shit the next day. You know, and sometimes you're not. Sometimes there's circumstances that won't allow that, and that's okay. So don't let it stress you out. Just ship as quickly as possible. Always stay in contact with a customer, especially if they're asking you something about the card or the delivery. Just make sure to answer them back promptly because that will ease their mind as well, being it because they know that you're there to talk to them and got them through the process. Also, ship correctly. Um, if you're shipping one card, always put it in the top loader, penny sleeve, and a team bag. Cut you two pieces of cardboard, slap them on the outsides of the card, tape it up, or either put that in a team bag as well. That's actually the best way. It's the cleanest, best looking way, most professional looking way to me. And then you put it in a bubble mailer that you get from Walmart for 50 cents. I like to get the, the uh, pack of 10. Cause you get that for like five bucks and it's just easier, you know, instead of going. Cause at first I was just going to buy one or two at a time and it's just better. Just, just go grab you a 10 pack, at least one 10 pack. And, um, make sure the description of the card is accurate. Okay. Because like a lot of people won't be able to see your card if it's not correctly advertise like if you don't have the right year you don't uh the right name of the brand of the card um like and then if it's an auto autograph card most people uh search up auto so make sure to put auto on there in the description because say look i'll look up akuna 2018 auto all right if you put autograph instead of auto on there it's not going to show up for me and so that's not a good look for you. So you need to make sure to put auto on there. And you could also put autograph. You could also put autograph. Just make sure to put auto on there. But that's the biggest the biggest thing that I've seen. I like the misspelling of names. Like you might misspell the name. It might be one letter off and you don't even know. You know, and nobody's seeing your card. Because, <laughs> because it's not the right name. Um... Make sure you have good photos. Make sure they're good, clear photos made with a good camera in well-lit areas. Okay? Make sure you have good photos that can show the corners, the surface, just everything. Make sure to have at least two photos, one of the front, one of the back. I hate when I go to try to buy something and the guy's only got one photo of the front. At least do like Com C and have one photo of the front and the back. Just one photo and you see both of them together. I mean, it's just lazy to me. Now, I understand you got thousands of items. Oh, well. But if, if this is a $100 card or better, man, come on, bro. Put a couple photos. I really like it when people put even more. They put zoomed in photos of the corners. You know, give you some of the edges, the surface. You know, some people are really thorough and they get more. You get more, you attract more buyers that way. So just make sure to keep all that in mind when uh, selling or buying on eBay. And uh, you shouldn't have too many problems. eBay is a good place to buy cards and sell cards. I met a lot of good people on there. A lot of sweet transactions. I've only had a couple of problems out of the hundreds of things that I bought. Um... One was a stain on the autographed jersey, sent it back, um, got another one, no problem. Another one was a Zion card, it has like a little bubble on it, you know, that came when the car was made. Wasn't that too serious, but I didn't want to pay for it because I was going to grade it and it wouldn't have got a good grade. So I sent that back, money back, no problem. And eBay has the money back guarantee. So you have no, you should have no worries about getting your money back on eBay. It's not like back in the day. I remember back in the day, eBay had such a bad rep. Nobody would ever thought about spending hundreds of dollars on eBay on a, on anything. You know, and I just started getting back like 2017. I had to buy a drive shaft for my Kia Sorento. And, you know, I, I started learning about it. About how to buy off of there and um, red flags and all that. And uh, that was my first item. And then I started buying a few Atlanta Falcons cars, little two, three dollar cars, Atlanta Braves, Chipper Jones, all that. 
started getting into more to uh cars of higher value after that and it's like now i don't even want a card it's like under a hundred dollars i'll buy a few cars for my pc or whatever for the most part i don't even want it if it's not got some value unless it's got sentimental value you know that's just part of part of the hobby that's why we have pcs but anyway let's get into this one blaster top stadium club 2018 in this video off hopefully get something I was hoping to get a Kuna, right? But I don't even think a Kuna's in this product. I think this product might have came out before he even actually debuted. I don't know. Because all I saw on eBay was autographs from this product with him. And they're nasty. You know, they're really good. I really love the photos of these products. CC Oh, we got an autograph, people. We got an autograph. Brandon Woodruff, rookie, and he is not a bad. He is not bad. He is not bad. That's not a bad rookie to have. Let's leave that guy up real quick. And it's own card. That was at the... That was out of the first pack, y'all. That's better than the Optic um, Cello packs that I opened up the other day. All three of them. And you can actually get this product still. Um, online for pretty much co at cost. There's a couple of people selling them. I saw that. They're selling them pretty much at, at cost. I like that picture too. That's pretty nice. Is it numbered? I don't even look. It doesn't seem to be numbered. Car looks to be in great shape though. I'm just, I love pulling autos. I love pulling hits. Even if it's nothing that's worth, you know, too terribly amount. Too terrible much, but I still like pulling them. St still like pulling them. But we were just talking about getting the Kuna auto in here. And we did get a rookie auto. So, you know, I'm not too mad. Could have been the, the Kuna, but when you spend $20... What do you expect? AJ Mentor. Zach Davis. Oh, I think these are kind of rare too. Andrew Stevenson. I don't know who he is. So this might be a hot box, y'all. This might be a hot box. I am not too mad at this. Two packs. Well, two rare things. I think the I think the autographs on here, are like one in like eleven thousand packs. We'll look at that in a minute. The actual odds, because I was just looking at that like right before the video, seeing the odds of pulling the autograph. So that's crazy. That's crazy. I think we got something here too. I don't know, guys. We'll see. Will Clark. Carlos Gonzalez. This is something, y'all. Ah, oh, nothing too crazy. Special Forces. Anthony Rizzo. And it's not numbered either. But it might um fetch me a few dollars. Rizzo's not bad. I like this jelly though. The pictures on here are just amazing. 
If you don't like Top Stadium Club, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, bud. Next pack. Can we get something else? Jim Tomei, one of the best in the 90s. Right behind him, one even better, Frank Thomas. Big Hurt. Robbie Ray. What is this? Special Forces, Matt Serger. And Xander Bogarts. I like to get the chrome, man. I love the, sta I love the stadium club chrome. Like, I really do, so... If we could pull one of those to end this off, that would be great. Especially of a Brave. That would be sweet. This has been the best $20 that I have spent in a while, though. <laughs> you know you hardly only spend $20 on cards. Kyle Farmer, rookie. Not too shabby. Carlos Correa. Uh, whatever. Oh, we got a chrome. Josh Reddick, who is it, who is it, Mark McGuire, Mark McGuire, you know he used to be my favorite baseball player in the 90s, but we'll put that to the side, and the, and the farmer, we'll put both of those sides, how many packs we got left, we got two packs left, three packs left, Oh, I like this one. This is that guy, man. Nolan Ryan. Max Freed, rookie. I will take it. That's my dog right there. Too bad that wasn't the chrome. Ender right behind it. I hate Ender. I wish he was off the team, but I put it in my son's collection. Oh, look at that right behind it. Power Zone Josh Donaldson. Now I'll take that. And then David Price. What's the odds of that though, bro? What is the odds of that? So I like every card out of there besides the David Price. <laughs> so that definitely wasn't a bad pack for me. Come on, packs. I'm just going to take a both out of here. All right. Dun, 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 Johnny Bench. Anthony Santander. Sandahar, Clint Frazier, Ricky, right behind it. I, oh, man, I wish that was a kind of never compromise. Anthony Rendon, that's a nice pick. And A.J. Pollock. So not the best pack, but not the worst pack either. All right, last pack, guys. Can we get something numbered? Roberto Clemente. That's a guy, I love that picture. And I got to get more of his, I got to get his cards. I have one. But it's really like a four card, Randy Johnson. It's a uh it's four people. Ooh, Josh Reddick, that's a red. It's uh not numbered, but and then Zach Godley. 
Hanley Ramirez. Pretty cool, fun photo. Yeah, I know a lot of people like this product and they like making the sets because the photos are just so awesome. I'm not going to try to make this set, but it was enjoyable. This is enjoyable $20. We got the Brandon Woodruff on card rookie. We got a Max Freed rookie. We pulled a red. Um, cool Nolan Ryan, a few other cards. Not too shabby. Hopefully I was able to help any help somebody out that watched this video today about eBay uh, selling and buying. And I hope it was fun for y'all to watch this video. And um, until next time, I'll see y'all guys later.